Hello everyone, glad to have you back. This is Anita White with Love Your Art, and yes, you're just in time for another video. We have a 10 by 20 inch canvas, and we're gonna be using some violets today with our gray. This is the Deco Art uh, Americana Premium Acrylic Slate Gray, which has been combined with some Blit Acrylic titanium white and some artist law floor acrylic black to get this amazing gray color and what we're going to be doing is a dutch pour and i will introduce the colors as we're putting them down this is my permanent blue violet by amsterdam and you know me i love 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 this permanent blue violet we are going to make efforts to get a design down that hopefully we can use all of these violets on in a very special way. This is the um, Windsor Newton Pale Violet. And we're happy to be able to use a Windsor Newton paint. I don't use those too often. We have the Grombacher Academy Prussian blue. It's a beautiful color as well. And yes, it does an awesome job. Okay, and we have the Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet. And we're really interested in seeing some beautiful colors with these violets on gray. And to kind of balance things off or give us a little highlight, we are going to use the Liquitex Basics. This is the um, Argent Silver. Okay, cool. And I believe I will wrap back around with some permanent blue violet. That was the very first color we started with. I love, love, love permanent blue violet. And uh, we're going to torch our little foundation colors, our lane flowering colors and foundation colors at the same time. looking for any unwanted debris, any uninvited guests that would interfere with our outcome. All right, so now we're gonna take our blow dryer and see what amazement it can give us with these colors. Here we go, guys. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, I love it. I don't really like what I did here. It kind of blew it the wrong way and got it going. So I'm gonna just take and see if I can scrape some of that off here. And just take it like that. If you don't like something, scrape it when you can. And then we have a little extra of the base color. We're going to take that off. I take that and everything off here and pour down some base color again. Let me 
making sure we got it off the sides as well. And we're gonna see if we can make this look a little better. Right? Put it on a little heavy. All right, and we're going to pull it off. Now I could just take this and fan it out a little bit more, which is what I may end up doing. Um, or I could just leave it, and it has negative space there, but I kind of like to see this come out just a little bit more. So, in that effort, I'm going to just try and put some here. This is the um, colors we used. I'm trying to get, I should put them in order. This is just making an adjustment. See if we can get this richness to continue. And I'm wrapping back around with our permanent blue the first color we started with, okay? All right, guys, we can move you over here, get this torched, all that area torched as well. And let's see if we can kind of get this to move out a little bit, fan out. It's a little awkward position it's in. So let's see if we can adjust the angle we're in. Um, okay, I think what I'm gonna to try to do is push it out that way. I like that a whole lot better, a lot better. And we can just smooth this out a little bit more. This large stir spoon. That looks great. All right. Hope you can come in for a close up in just a minute. Let's torch these air bubbles here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now this touch pour was done without any metallics. Normally I have at least one metallic. The silver, however, would be as close to having a metallic paint in there as, as perhaps any of them. But if you don't want any cells, you can try to avoid using metallic paint with your other layering colors. I like cells, but sometimes I like to not have cells, so I wanted to try this out and get it without any, a lot of cells, even though we have some, but I'm, I'm speaking in reference to having a lot more cells. If you have a metallic, you're, you're definitely going to get cells with metallic. The um, uh, uh, flow troll will cause for cells to develop as well. And all these paints have been mixed with Floetrol and water, so yeah, we're going to have some cells, but it won't be an enormous amount of cells. Okay, let's bring you all in for a close-up and see what you think, all right? Here we come. All right, my friends, we're here with our close-up. Awesome. Look at this. I'm so glad we made this adjustment because you can see how well blended all those colors have come together. And as I mentioned about cells, you can see there are a few little small cells in here. They look rather nice. Really pretty combination of colors. You can see the richness of the cells from that. Um, what is that? Prussian blue along with the 
uh, argent silver. Lovely, lovely combination of violets. Violets with Prussian blue and argent silver. And a light gray slate base. Beautiful. I love this outcome. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. We really appreciate your feedback. And some of you, I tell you, you have not began to realize how much I value your precious feedback. You're so encouraging, so inspiring, and it's just uh, a real blessing to have you join in with us and to share your feedback. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you haven't done so, go ahead and like and subscribe. We'd love to have your viewership. I want you to be a part of this channel and to find out each and every time when we have a new video upload, which is every week. So stay tuned, guys, and we will see you on the next video upload. Until Okay, everyone, here we have some dry results of the Violets on Blue, our 10 by 20 inch canvas. As you can see, this dried very nicely. And you can see all of the colors, the violets that we use, the permanent blue violet by Amsterdam, the Windsor Newton pale violet, the ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam, along with the Prussian Blue by Grumbacher Academy. Each of these have really dried very nicely. And of course, you can see this is on a gray base that we use the DecoArt slate gray, along with some acrylic uh, titanium white and a little bit of the Artist Loft uh, for acrylic black. This area here, you can see we have the um, Liquitex Basics. Um, that's the Argent Silver. And that's the only color that comes close to a metallic that we used in this design. You can see we have very minimal cells, but we have lacing and some cells, and they made a really rich beautiful design and the colors are just amazing really pleased with how this dried i think that this is uh, an indication of how we can put together nice rich colors on a light base and have an amazing outcome without having muddiness we can see each of these colors really speaking loud and clear for themselves let me know what you think in the comments Thank you so much for joining me again. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. And until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you all on our next weekly video upload. Bye now.